You will need your bag for the different things we're going to be doing today. And the first thing you need to find is your balloon. So in a minute, we'll be playing our first game, and you'll need your balloon blown up. So grown-ups, I'm giving you a minute's warning just to get that ready. You'll need at least two for your house. You'll, you've got two in your bag because this is a competition. So make sure everyone who wants to play has got a balloon ready. And while that's happening, I have got some very big thank yous to say. So first of all, children, thank you to you for coming down to church today for our light explosion walkthrough experience. We have had such a brilliant time. It's been great to see you, to talk to you, and have so much fun to you. A really big thank you to your grown-ups for getting you here at exactly the right time. That is not necessarily very easy. Today we have had 48 families arriving in church five minutes apart all morning and the early part of the afternoon. So thank you, grown-ups, for getting here just at the right moment and making sure your families could be part of what was happening. Thank you to our team who made it all happen. Thank you to the band who are going to lead us in worship in just a few minutes and to the tech team who are making sure you guys can see this and hear it right now. Now, just before our game, tomorrow morning, we're going to be showing some photos from Light Explosion as part of our morning service on YouTube. And we would love to have some photos of you guys joining in with this bit at home right now. So if you'd like to be involved in that, grown-ups, maybe take a couple of different photos of your kids taking part in one or two of the things that happen and email them in to me at children at saint.tees.org.uk by 6 o'clock tonight. And all that information is on the little card in your bag. Okay, we are going to play a game. So I need Emma. And am I coming over here for this game, or are you coming over here? Right, I'm coming here. Oh, no. 
Sarah's dropped a mic. So we've played our first game, which is going to be how many um, keepy uppy with balloons can we do during the song? Can you do it the whole thing without dropping? Okay. Who's going to win? So we're going to have two practice rounds and then we're going to do a real thing. And the challenge is who in your house can keep it up the longest? And we'll see if Emma or I win. So practice one. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Are we supposed oh. to count as well? Okay. Let's give people a second. Right, are we ready? Practice two. Ready, go. Oops. There's very high ceilings here in church. This might be easier than at home. Oh, no. Oh. I think I've lost because I've gone off the steps. Yeah, I think you have. Okay, ready for the final decider. Who in your house is going to win keeping your balloon up the longest? Ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm totally going to be Emma. No, you're not. I'm going to try. That'll be if you cheat. I wonder who's winning at home. and type it in so that we can find out. Emma. So we're all going to um, sing a song and worship together. Um, we're going to sing My Lighthouse. Sarah and I are going to do some actions, which are really easy, so you can follow along. And our fantastic bands are going to lead us in worship. Awesome. Here we go. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea in the silence you won't let go in my questions your truth will hold your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea yeah my lighthouse my lighthouse shining in the darkness I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore. What tomorrow brings With each morning I'll rise and sing My God's love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea Yeah, yeah, my lighthouse My lighthouse Shining in the darkness, I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore. 
sing fire before you're the fire before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storms you're the fire before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the fire before fire before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storms you're the fire before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storms my lighthouse my lighthouse shining in the darkness i will follow you oh my lighthouse my lighthouse i will trust the promise you will carry me safe to shore safe to shore safe to shore safe to shore fantastic everyone so how have you done in the balloons have you been typing in the chat if not, you need to get typing in the chat because we need to know who won in your houses. But I've got some other competitions that I need to tell you about. So today, when you were here, as you arrived, there was a guess the number of sweets. And this is for a prize. And the winner who guessed the exact number of sweets were Henry and Savannah. Well done, guys. Well done. You're the winners. Now, equally amazing, some best scores, there's no prizes for these, I'm afraid. But the people who did the best on the teddy bear activity throughout the day were Natty, all the Lilies. If you were called Lily, you were one of the best people all day. Shearsbys, Bethany, the O'Neills, you got the prize for the most people with most people with teddy bears on the heads at any one time. Well done, guys. Sophie and Johnny. Well, everyone did well, but you guys did especially well with the teddy bears. Well done. And then the higher and lower, all these teams got all the whole of the, the um, thing that we had all correct right to the end. So the teams were Haynes, Penguin, Blakely family, Grace and Heidi, Banana Peel Unicorn Biscuit, fantastic name, extra a point for you for a great name. Another team called Penguin, Nellie's, Pizza, Squirtle, Harry, Toasty, House of Girls, Agents and All Stars. So well done all of you. So a well done George for winning in the Gooch household. You've done really well with that. That's fantastic. So thank you all for taking part in all our games today and having so much fun with us. We've had a great time. And now over to Sarah. Okay. So we're going to have a think now for a couple of minutes about what Light Explosion is all about. And if you've not eaten the sweets in your gift bag yet, this might be a good moment to ask your grown-ups if you can do that now while you watch and listen to me. So why is this celebration called Light Explosion and why do we do it? Well, the Bible says that Jesus is the light of the world. That might be something you've heard about lots of times before. Maybe it's a new thing to think about. Does it mean Jesus is an actual light, like the torch on my phone? Well, no. These words are to help us to understand a bit more about who Jesus is and a bit more about what he's like. So just think about the sun for a minute. It's the center of our solar system, and we need it for so many things. The sun helps plants to grow. It keeps us warm. It even keeps us healthy, and we need it to be able to see what's going on. Jesus is a bit like that. At Christmas, we remember Jesus being born on earth as a baby so that we could know how much God loves us. And at Easter, we remember that Jesus died on the cross and rose again so that we could choose to be part of his family and to live with him forever and ever if we want to. 
And every day, we can be with Jesus. Just like the sun is the source of life on planet Earth, Jesus made us and he loves us. He knows everything about us and he thinks we are amazing. That is a great reason to celebrate. And that is why we've had so much fun today in church and now in our online celebration too. Let's think about some other lights for a minute. Have you ever been for a walk or maybe a drive in the dark and been able to spot some lights? It's bonfire night soon. Think about how bright the fireworks look against the dark sky and about when you wave a sparkler and you can see the light trail as it moves. In my family, one of our favorite things to do in the winter is to go for a walk or a drive and spot some Christmas lights. We really like the blue lights on the trees in Dalton Square and we like spotting our favorite Christmas trees in the shops. Have you ever been out in the country or somewhere where there aren't any other lights shining and seen the stars? A dark sky full of stars is beautiful. Or have you ever been looking at the moon or the stars and seen them really clearly and then suddenly found you can't see them anymore? It looks like they've disappeared. And then you realize a cloud has blown in front of them. You haven't moved, and the stars haven't moved, but something's got in the way and stopped you seeing clearly. There is a verse in the Bible that we're going to learn together now to help us think about that. You probably saw it on the stage when you were in the church earlier. It says, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never put it out. And we're going to say that together with some actions. So first we'll do this for light, the light shining down, and this for darkness. Can we do that together? The light shines in the darkness. Let's say that again. Ready? One, two, three. The light shines in the darkness. And then the second bit says, and the darkness can never put it out. Let's do that second bit. And the darkness can never put it out. Let's say the whole thing together. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never put it out. And that is from the Bible. Why not get this card out of your bag and hold on to it while I'm talking? This has got our verse from the Bible on it. So the light in this verse means Jesus. What does the darkness mean? Well, sometimes it can feel like being in the dark when we feel sad or scared or angry. When it's dark, we can't see where we're going. We can't see people, even if they're nearby. And sometimes things happen to us or we worry about things and it feels just like that. Dark and scary or dark and unfair or dark and sad. And this verse is such a great verse to remember when we're feeling like that. It is a promise, no matter how dark things seem, Jesus and his light and his love will always, always, always keep shining. When the clouds hide the stars, that doesn't mean that the stars have gone out. And it doesn't mean we have done something wrong if we can't see them then. The stars are still there and we know we will be able to see them again. And if it feels dark for you, today or maybe another day, remember Jesus is always, always, always there with you, whether you feel close to him or not. And remembering the promise in this verse from the Bible is a little bit like shining a light in the darkness. I wonder if later on today you could find somewhere to stick this verse to remind yourself of that. Now, when you came into church earlier today, you will have seen that verse shining brightly in bright, sparkly paint on black paper. And in a minute, I'm going to show you what it looks like now. Now, we all know that because of the coronavirus pandemic, lots of things have to be very different to normal at the moment. So normally, right now, Emma and I would be up there on the platform where we've just done the song, and in front of us, the church would be full of children and their leaders worshipping God together. 
And we couldn't do that all together like that this year. And that feels a little bit like darkness because it's strange and it's different and we wish we could be here all at the same time. But just look at these beautiful handprints. 48 families have been in church today joining in with all the different games and activities. That's 79 children. And I know there's some more of you who are able to join in at home too who couldn't come here today. Normally, light explosion is only for children who are old enough to be at primary school, but today we've had children of all ages and your families have been able to join in too. You didn't all get to see everybody that came, but you have all been part of something really special. And now you're joining in at home too, all over Lancaster and beyond. So as we finish, let's say our verse again together. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never put it out. Jesus loves you. Jesus is with you. And that is a promise that will be true forever and ever and ever. And that is why we're celebrating today at Light Explosion. We're going to spend just a few minutes now thinking and praying about everything that Sarah has just been saying about how Jesus is always with us, shining in the darkness. And you're going to need your star magnet and your scratchy thing um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to all just spend a few minutes um, writing or drawing a picture on our star that reminds us that Jesus is the light shining in the darkness and so even if we feel scared or worried at the moment or any time that we know he's there just like the stars are always there behind the clouds so you can do whatever you like. You could write some words like light of the world or write Jesus. Or you could do a nice picture. You could do a lighthouse or you could do a cross or some stars. Or just make this star really pretty. Whatever you like to do. And then we're going to finish and pray together. So we're just going to spend one or two minutes now decorating our stars.
Let's pray together and hold our stars. So Jesus, thank you that you are always with us. Help us to remember that even when it feels dark or scary or difficult, that you are still there and that your light shines in the darkness and the darkness will never put it out. Amen. So this is my star. I'm sure you've done some fantastic stars. And you can put that star somewhere in your room or on your fridge at home. And in it, then when you see it, it will remind you of today and that message that the light shines in the darkness. And that light is Jesus. So I've got a question for you now, a bit of a challenge for you to have a think about, and you can type it in the chat. And so that is, if you were going to go on a walk in the dark sometime soon to look at lights, what would you, where would you go? Perhaps you might go to the illuminations, or maybe you'd go and look at some stars. So if you want to have a think about that for a few minutes as we're doing our song, and if you want to type it in the chat, and we'll see what you all have to say. It's over to Sarah. Okay, so we have a new song to teach you guys today. So I'm going to teach you the actions. This song is called Not Afraid, and it's by Rend Collective. And we bought this album for our children just as lockdown started, and we've had it on in our car for months and months and months. And this is a really great new song for us to learn. So if we could have the words to the chorus, I'm going to teach you the actions to the chorus. Okay, so we say, I'm... Not afraid of the dark. The dark's afraid of me. Let's do that together. I'm not afraid of the dark. The dark's afraid of me. Okay. And then the next bit says, I'm not afraid because your heart is shining bright in me. Let's do that. I'm not afraid because your heart is shining bright in me. Okay. Then we say, be bold, be strong, be brave, and hold on. Let's do that. Be bold, be strong, be brave, hold on. And then the last bit says, I'm not afraid anymore. This is where you definitely need to be standing up because your love glows in the dark. We go round and round like this, shining out. So let's do that last bit. I'm not afraid anymore. Your love glows in the dark. Brilliant. Let's do this song together. Let's go this time. If you say I'm an overcomer, I will overcome the monster. I may be small, but I'm a fighter. Cause you are strong and fears a liar. Chorus this time. Oh, I'm not afraid of the dark. The dark's afraid of me. I'm not afraid. Cause your heart is shining bright in me. Be bold, be strong, be brave, and hold on now. Not afraid anymore. Your love glows in the dark. Today I put heaven's armor. Your sword and shield cannot be conquered. I raise a shout cause I'm a warrior. No cry will feed me onward. No, I'm not afraid of the dark. The dark's afraid of me. I'm not afraid. Cause your heart is shining bright in me. Be bold, be strong, be brave. And hold on, I'm not afraid anymore. Your love glows in the dark. Oh, we sing it out loud, sing it out strong, 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 we sing it out loud, 
Sing it out strong, sing it out loud. Sing it out strong, sing it out loud. Sing it out strong, sing it out loud. Sing it out strong. Oh, cause I'm not afraid of the dark. The dark's afraid of me. I'm not afraid cause your heart shining bright in me so be bold be strong be brave and hold on i'm not afraid anymore sing that again i'm not afraid of the dark the dark's afraid of me i'm not afraid because you are it's burning bright in me be bold be strong, be brave, and hold on, I'm not afraid anymore. Your love glows in the dark. Okay, Abby, Lauren, do we have some things people are saying in the chat about favorite walks? I wonder where... People like to go for a walk in the dark. Okay, so George would like to go and see some fireworks. Isabel would go to space to see some lights. And Solomon, Solomon, sorry Solomon, would go up to the crag in Wharton. Some really good ideas and some really different ideas. I wonder whether in the next few days or the next few weeks, maybe there might be a chance to see some lights in the dark, whether that's in your own back garden or a little bit further away. I wonder if you can go for a little wander in the dark with your grown-ups and see some lights shining brightly over the next few days or weeks. Okay, I'm going to hand over to Emma because it wouldn't be light explosion if we didn't do something a little bit messy. Hello everyone, so this is the, our messy game for Light Explosion. We have two families here who are taking part so they can get each other nice and messy. And I can even help this team out if they need extra help, yes. So, <laughs> this game is really simple. All you need to do is you're gonna put some of this sauce, this nice strawberry sauce, on your faces. So Nina and Matthew are the ones who have been kindly volunteered to get messy. And then we're going to have 30 seconds, and I'm going to count down for you to see if you can get as many of the cheese puffs on their faces as possible. Is that okay? So first of all, Matthew and Nina, do you, you can put your own strawberry sauce on. So if you want to take the sauce, get your faces nice and messy. You can kneel down or stand up or however you think. James will help. Oh, dear. I don't believe that you're letting your brother help. That was a very, very foolish thing to do. But, right. Rub it around. You've got to rub it around so it gets really nice and covered. Oh, there's some competition there. He also does have to play the drums again in about five. No, not on his hair. <laughs> Yeah, get your hair back. Right, how are we doing? Give it a nice rubbing. Yeah. This may not have been fully thought through, but that's all right. Okay. Oh. Fantastic. You look amazing. Okay. Are both teams ready? So do you know what you're doing? You're basically putting as many of the cheese puffs as possible on the face in about 30 seconds. Okay, so when you're ready, steady, go! Seven, six, five, four, 
count them up really quickly. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-four. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. I think that's 23. So James and Matthew are the winners. Well done, guys. That was fantastic. Good job, everybody. Back to hey, you, Sarah. Can we switch this camera back to me over here, Ben? And then these guys can get ready to be back in the band in a second while I just explain the very last bit that's going to happen. I hope you've really enjoyed our Light Explosion online celebration. We have certainly had a brilliant time, and I really hope you have enjoyed it too. So, if you've been to Light Explosion here in church before, you know that the thing we do at the end is we do a little light-up disco, a light-up dance, and we take the lights down in church and everyone has a finger light, one of these that you have in your bag. So, what you need to do now is find your light. You may need to close your curtains, you may need to turn off some lights, and in a minute, we are going to do a bit of a dance and we're going to shine our lights as we celebrate that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. So how are we doing? Our drummer is just trying to make sure he can see out of his eyes, which will probably make his drumming better. I can see that would be helpful. We've got an amazingly fast clear up here. If you've been at Holiday Club, you will know that we can get from Gunge House to playing and leading worship in about 30 seconds flat. So here we are, the band is about there. I'm just going to come and join Emma over this side and let's celebrate together that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. Oh, I'm not afraid of the dark The dark's afraid of me I'm not afraid cause your heart in me, be bold, be strong, be brave, and hold on, I'm not afraid anymore, your love comes in the dark, afraid of me I'm not afraid cause your heart is burning bright in me be bold be strong be brave and hold on I'm not afraid anymore yeah I'm not afraid of the dark the dark's afraid of me I'm not afraid cause your heart is shining in me, be bold, be strong, be brave, and hold on. I'm not afraid anymore. Your love goes in the dark. Isn't it great that? right across Lancaster and beyond. You guys are shining your lights in the dark and Jesus is with each one of us. Please do remember to send your photos in and we would love to have you as part of our online service tomorrow. Thank you so much for being part of Light Explosion Online. It's been great to have you with us. Bye. Oh. Well, 
done, guys. Thank you. Shining bright in me I'm not 